Hi everyone, hope you're well. Welcome to this new video. This is going to be a small tips video really for FSX uh, for people that um, want to look outside of the uh, the FSX config file and try and do something a little bit different to try and help their frame rates. Me for instance, I have an i7 first generation which is a few, few years old now so the hardware is getting a little bit slow and FSX being power hungry on the CPU uh, takes a bit of a toll on my frame rate so I'm not going to look at the FSX config like I say, I'm going to just look at some other stuff that I normally do when setting up FSX just to help my uh, frame rates. So what I've done, I've got SX open and as well as that I'm going to start, I'm going to open up the task manager here, so that's a right click on the taskbar open task manager, bring that over from the screen, so these are the three programs I've got running at the minute, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to processes show all processes <coughs> which is accessible if you're if you're running on the admin account of the computer and these are all the processes that are running in the background of my computer at the minute which are as you can see taking up quite a bit of memory so what I normally do is we, once I've got FSX up and running I then go through here and delete end process everything I don't want all the iTunes stuff etc AMD stuff it's all old stuff on the computer <coughs> anything that's running ABG I normally leave running but again that's personal preference for yourself Chrome, don't need any of that running. Anything you're not too sure about that you see down here or on your own computer, like again everyone's computer is different. Um, Google is your friend. Go on to Google, type in process and the name of it and you should get a good a good description of what it is you're actually trying to get rid of because if you hit the wrong one on here you could end up causing yourself a bit of a problem. So I normally just stick with the stuff I know I don't need. Um, like your Skype, anything that's just background stuff you ain't going to need it um, so so some of this I aren't too worried about it's just the big the big things in the background and once I've done all that I then go over to my FSX process here well, it's moved, FSX there right click on that, set priority and I set that to high so the CPU is putting a lot of emphasis on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now some of these will come back. End process tree normally does the whole thing. If you have one or two pop up. So that's that bit. So that's just deleting anything that again your phone number recognition from Skype, end process, I don't need that. And if you do want to use these programs once you finish Flight Simulator, you can just open them up normally and the process will restart. So there's no great loss there. So that's one part, um, which does it has proven to, Im, you know, improve my frame rates a little bit. Maybe only one or two, but it's just enough to give FSX that little bit of extra breathing space. So as well as that, I then go on to um, this other program. Now I say I'm Intel. So for Intel processors, first generation i7s through to the current ones, and i5s and i3s. There's a little program called Intel Turbo Boost. Now this is an Intel program that runs in the background and will give the the uh, hard drive, not hard drive, sorry, the CPU a bit of extra oomph when needed. So see it's moving up and down. So that'll go right up to the top here as and when FSX is running. So that's helpful. What I also do, again this, but then this is not an F, just FSX only. This can also be just to help your owner. Um, computer pro, uh, performance. Let's go to the start start menu. In search for MS Config. If I could spell it right. Enter. This opens this. Now this is quite helpful for when you're starting up your computer. So these are all the services that are running at the minute, and you can uh, it tells you which ones to stop. So this is another way of doing the the task manager. This bit. It's the same as this, but you can do it through MS MS Config. So these are <coughs> so anything in here you don't want, just get rid of it. Stop, stop, stop. There you go. We stop that. We stop that. That's running, but we can get rid of that. So tick that. Uh, and you could disable that. Um, but startup is one I'm looking at. So all these programs. <coughs> if you've never done this before, you probably have a list of programs here, and they'll all be ticked. 
and that means as soon as your computer is started up it's trying to run all these programs so what I normally do is anything that's not essential for starting the computer up turn it off because one it makes the computer boot up just a little bit quicker and it's less for you to close down when you do because it's normally best to start FSX straight after a, a fresh boot because there's not a lot going on so turn the computer on give it a few minutes to sort of warm up start FSX so if you turn these off it doesn't it saves you from having to turn them off later on when starting FSX so we'll apply that obviously these don't normally come into effect until you restart the computer there's a few other little bits on here but I never normally use that it's normally just I mean you can here you can do a normal startup diagnostic selective start well, I've got selective because I'm selecting different services to start on my startup so Microsoft that's obviously important that's important Nvidia that's my uh, video driver so I'm going to leave that and my um, antivirus but everything else as you can see has been turned off because I don't need it so okay exit without restart so obviously when you restart that will take effect so there are just a few little ways guys of doing other things outside of the FSX config saga that can just help a little bit and I'm hoping to put some more videos on there about defragging your hard drive etc to get the most out of your uh, FSX drive so until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.